Okay, in this video we're going to talk about bedding in the trigger guard. Uh, this is usually something for target shooters, but can have a definite bearing on non-target rifles. If you just want accurate, more accurate shooting on your rifle. Uh, so here we go. The trigger guard provides a lot of pressure up under the fore end in two places. The width of my fingers there and the width of my fingers here around the main screw. Strong pressure up here, very strong pressure up here. Now if those aren't contacting the trigger rails underneath in those areas, then it's not really achieving the purpose that the infield manufacturers designed for it. So here's what we've got. In this particular rifle, the side rails are nice and wide and strong. In plenty of rifles, these are worn away and very thin and narrow, and not actually strong enough or have enough area to uh, put pressure onto the wood the way it needs to be. So bedding this in involves in the, in the front one third, from this point forward, this needs bedding, and often this needs bedding. And the way we're going to do that is just use the normal brown owl bedding compound or epoxy glue. Clean up your trigger guard, wax it, polish it, do all your release agent things so it's not going to stick. Then smear epoxy along these areas, that front one third and back under here. Carefully assemble it as though for shooting. You may not want to put maximum pressure on the main screw, but let that settle down. Make sure the back screw is in place so you don't get that floating effect. Uh, but let that settle down. And, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now once you have the trigger guard in place, get yourself a, get, get a uh, screwdriver tip or a, sh a small spatula and start smearing off your epoxy like this inside the trigger guard to build up the width of the wood under here and back underneath this forward here at the front of the magazine too. Uh, later on when it's all set and gone hard you can take the trigger guard out and smooth those areas up so the magazine will smoothly go in and out. But if you build up those areas like this with the epoxy it gives much more area for this to bear down onto. Back under here it's a little trickier but, but it just depends on care. you just want careful assembly and not too much pressure. The idea is you're trying to take up any air gap that's back here under the trigger guard when it's assembled because if there is an air gap here your fore end is floating and not being pressured into place like it needs to be. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Bedding the trigger guard is a good place to start, good place to get some experience with bedding. It's not complicated. Uh, you want regular, slow curing epoxy is way better than fast cure. You have more time to work it, the eventual cure strength is much, much better. And so that's it, beating the trigger guard.